Yeah, all right guys, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Jungle Harry here. Um, hello, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, I got a new sweater on today, same same old pants. But anyways guys, what we're gonna try to do today is attempt to replace these cassette sprockets or sprockets um, on my Brompton HR6. So we got a 14 millimeter key, we got a flathead screwdriver, and we got some Allen keys on the other side. But that's pretty much all you need to do in order to um, replace one of these. Well, first thing we're gonna remove the wheel. And basically, first thing to do is let the air out because it's not going to allow you to remove the wheel past the brake pads if the air is com isn't completely out. So there we are. Um, okay, so there we are. We are air free. Um, I was going to remove the entire axle but I figured you know what if I can get the chain tensioner this bit here because I also ordered a brand new chain tensioner from England in a gold in a gold color um, okay so this has got like a bushing a screw um, okay yeah so that bit's come out now uh the top bit but basically we're gonna replace everything so i'm just going to take these old parts put them in the put them in the box save them for a rainy day i guess um uh, okay so once you guys got that um, tensioner off the entire the rest of the tensioner part is going to come out when we undo the bolt but before we undo the bolt we need to undo we're going to need to separate this uh tension string so let me just put these parts into the old into the old parts box okay so we're not going to I don't think we're gonna need our Allen key anymore, but here you got like this little um, separator, and it's got a threading there. Um, so you kind of just twist it out. There you go. So once you've separated the tension chain, now I believe. I do believe we can get in with a 14 millimeter, with a 14 millimeter. Um, I think we can now, actually this side will probably be a 15 millimeter. It, something's telling me. <laughs> um, yeah, so, Okay, so you loosen it there, and guys, you know, this bike has not had any major service of any of these major parts for a good seven years. I bought this bike in 2016, and it had, you know, some basic services, but like, these parts that we're replacing now over the last few videos I showed you guys, you know, these parts are, um, you know, usually not, uh, to, you know, you don't really, really need to replace them for, for good years. But after I bought the bike, of course, I, um, I left England and, of course, I bought the bike in England, then bike in England, then I left 
and was in the jungle for five years so there was no way of replacing these parts there so um so here we are you know seven years later i'm just replacing these parts here um okay so guys uh all right um I don't know if you guys can see this, but this screw on this side here, um, this is really rusty. Um, so we're going to put, what we're going to do is we are going to put um, a brush. Yeah, kind of get a good style uh, copper brush, and then we're gonna we're gonna clean it up. What I should be doing is putting a uh, like a brush on a stick, copper brush on a stick, and actually putting it onto a power drill, and then cleaning it up that way. But it did a it did a pretty good job. Um, just by hand you know there's this clip here so guys yeah some rust has accumulated uh, over the years there but yeah you know seven years no nothing replaced on this and so I'm really happy it lasted as long as it last lasted uh, so now guys there's a little snap sort of uh, a little snap in uh, sort of a place protector in there and what we're going to do is yeah see take it off because that snaps into these little predetermined yeah, see, this is really rusted out. Um, for the moment, I don't think I'm going to be replacing the hub in there. So all, all we're doing is concentrating on replacing the sprockets. And guys, um, maybe in the near future because uh all i'm trying to do is of course get this bike prepared for a little trip that i'm uh where uh, in the summer where i'm gonna need to have a fold-up bike that i can fold up and check in to airport and fly uh with the bike uh so we're trying to get just make it sort of road ready and road safe for the moment um as you guys can see like you know as i said this is seven years um this was about two years in london and five years in the amazon jungle and see look at uh 